This is one of Forum 8's four-wheel in-vehicle drive simulators, and I will give an explanation of its functions, components, and future development. The simulator is compatible with the UCWIN Road software solution. This means that various driving environments can be created with virtual reality software, and these scenarios can then be tested out under the controlled environment of the simulator. Recently, these drive simulators have been used for research on intelligent transportation systems, road alignment and safety, as well as traffic analysis. Once you've created a 3D virtual landscape in UCWIN Road, you can input this into the simulator and gain a driver's perspective as you travel through the space. Various driving situations can be easily changed by selecting visual options. For example, you can drive in the snow or rain, night or day. Customized scenarios and numerical analysis can also be provided. Now we will take a look at the system's components. Here we see the LC monitor, the steering wheel, the ignition and key, the accelerator, brake and clutch pedals, the function buttons on the left, the seat and seat vibrator, and the safety belt. Now we will try to drive with the simulator. First we're putting on our seat belt, and we're going to use the buttons here on our yellow buttons on our left to get to the menu. By pushing the two furthest most left buttons, you can choose between menu options, and you can use the center button to finalize your selection. This time, we will choose the right button to select story mode, and it will bring up a particular scenario. Now we can drive. You'll see that as we turn the ignition to start up the engine, the simulation will begin just as if you were actually starting your car. Here these meters will show your speed and RPM. And now I'll talk a little bit about the UCWIN Road Drive Simulator setup. So purchases of the system includes a basic configuration of the UCWIN Road Simulator and the UCWIN Road software with a drive option. Together this is $40,800 US dollars for one system, but there are discounts for bulk orders. So, for a set of 10, the system would cost $32,900 each, and if 20 or more are ordered, they would come out to be $25,000 each. There are other options that can be additionally purchased, including an active steering wheel, extra monitors, and a motion platform with two degrees of freedom. This chart shows the prices in yen, but you can contact Forum 8 for more details and accurate prices in dollars or other currency. The soft, UCWIN software is an international version, so it supports Japanese, English, Chinese, French, and Korean. We can also create customized versions of SDKs for specific needs. There's been a lot of co-development with universities and research institutions that want to customize their version of the software. For example, some customized versions in the past have included special effects for collision impacts and the ability to measure the distance between vehicles. It is possible for the program to store event information and a numerical analysis can be exported for further use. The simulators have been effective for presenting road and driving information to the public as well as for driving instruction. In one recent customized version in Japan, the simulator is available for public use at a highway rest stop in order to help people share their opinions about the road safety. So in this way, the simulator acts as a visual tool that enables the public to be directly involved in the road's redesign and construction. Forum 8 also provides data creation services and construct, can construct the virtual reality environment for your simulator. Our upcoming product, VR Studio, will have enhanced visual effects and will provide higher quality simulation. There will be greater space for terrain input, a 
reduction in VR creation time, improved traffic simulation. For example, traffic generation will be organized into sources and sinks that are organized by lane, as well as improved driving parameters and simulation of driving behavior. It should also have the capacity to simulate rail transport. Here we're ending our racetrack, but this is what we are looking at in the future for 408's driving simulators, and thank you for watching this video.